Igloland is a theme park located in France a couple hours from Paris with a bunch of mock rides manufactured roller coasters. They seem to only purchase quality and you can tell they believe they've found it in mock products. We're gonna ride a lot of mocks today. Oh yeah, like seven mocks. <laughs> if you've been following our trip around Europe, this is our second stop, a trip around a big chunk of Europe, stopping at most major theme parks along the way and riding more than 200 different roller coasters. After a night stay just outside of Paris, we were off to Nigloland. Right as we walked into this theme park, the quality, maintenance, and cleanliness was extremely noticeable, more so than any other park I've ever stepped foot into, and I truly mean that more than ever. The roller coasters rode smoother than any counterpart models I had ever been on, and downtime was not noticed throughout the day on any ride. Nigloland cares about upkeep and long ride life. The park also kindly showed us into the maintenance area to take a look at the spot list, an organized train storage facility, which was extremely cool. I've seen other maintenance areas and ridden coasters from manufacturers around the world. I can say I've never seen better quality taking care of rides than this park has. They're all greased up and we're ready to go. Our first ride of the day was on the Mach Rides Alpina Blitz, a very sought after coaster for me with a layout based off of the Intamin Megalite. However, the park went with Mach as the manufacturer instead of Intamin because they preferred the trains that Mach Rides were producing at the time. So they went to Intamin, Intamin said, buy it how it is. So instead they went to Mach, said, hey, we like this layout, put your trains on it. And just like that, many call this the Mach Megalite. Even though Mach has made similarly sized layouts, Slight differences can even be found in the exact overhead layout from Intamin to Mox, and shaping changes from element to element are also apparent. Alpina Blitz was smooth, had fun airtime, and I'm in love with the comfort of Mox trains, so it was all around an a ride. There's times when the trains feel bulky through some of the smaller turns and elements, and I feel that this train just belongs on coasters that are over 150 feet tall because of their higher seats and large size. It's a compact layout that fits the area great. The operations were great and it's filled with excellent airtime, especially the S hills in the middle of the layout, definitely the highlight of the ride for me. Will I enjoy the Intamin version better? I'd soon find out once we head to Jur, Summerland and Denmark later on in the trip. Next up was the new mock water coaster, Expedition Krampus. This uses a new track type compared to the other coasters. If you look closely at the cross size, you'll see it's a bit different than previous water coasters. And this one was the smoothest one I had ever been on and the cleanest water I've ever seen in a park. It just felt refreshing instead of gross after getting off. And the ride itself is pretty straightforward and exactly how it looks. Pretty short and the theming ends after the queue. I wish that some more elements could be enclosed. Even something as simple as that first turn out of the station being indoors. But the music on the lift hill is a nice touch and better than nothing. Oh no. There's no airtime on the curved hill or throughout the layout, but the drop is shaped in a way that gives a nice <laughs> surprise floater moment before the second air hill and splashdown. It's a fun coaster that's worth getting on, and next we are headed over to the mock Wild Mouse next door. Again, smooth as ever, and one of the best examples of its kind. It felt like it opened the day before with how well taken care of it was. A family coaster created by Art Engineering is the next ride around the park which you can guess by now, Mock Rides manufactures track for, so the trend continues there. Great theming on a small coaster and nice layout. Really fun family coasters from this manufacturer all around. We'd ride another one later on in the trip in Austria. The park also has spatial experience, an indoor Mock Ride, and the only other coaster similar to Eurosat in the world, 
which we would be visiting the next day at Europa Park. Look at the love. Mock products. It has a spiral lift hill and is a great indoor ride with some nice space theming. While this park looks small from the outside, it really is just because many attractions cannot be seen due to the vast gardens throughout the park. Attractions blended right into the area. We had some fun on the disco and then made our way into a dark ride that was similar to the Haunted Mansion at Disney. Theming was incredible here, very overgrown and convincing. Uh, it's a good ride worth our time with that nostalgic vibe. Negro Land also has the Negro Show, but it was not running due to COVID on our visit. The park has a log ride and a safari themed cruise ride, complete with some palm trees as well. Alpina Blitz and all the ride lines seemed to die down as the day went on. Tons of people were at the park at opening. Even an hour before opening, there was a long line at this park. So during my one visit, I would call this an afternoon park rather than a morning park. Lots of families with smaller children, more so than a lot of amusement parks that I've been to. Very family driven, so that means that the kids get tired quick and they leave early. So you may just find that lines die down more here, more so than other places. The park is on the ball and adds a train when it's needed. Uh, this ride is the star of Negro Land, as well as the drop tower, the log flume, and other rides around the park. Flat rides are fine. As a whole, we found this to be a very well-rounded park for everyone to enjoy. The overall atmosphere of the park is an A+. We barely got away with four to five hours here. We couldn't do everything we wanted, and that's why Negro Land is a full day stop for me in the future. You can stay overnight right on site as well if you wish and I definitely recommend a stop here if you are in the area. It's a park that I would include again if I were to travel around Europe again. Not many stops yet, but it's my favorite of the trip so far. And my favorite coaster is also Alpina Blitz so far. Make sure you keep following us around Europe where we'll head to Wally Gator next where a Cedar Point Raptor clone awaits us and some more coasters. So until next time, thanks as always for watching and see ya. We are now about two hours away from Negla Land at Wally Gator Park. We're so screwed right now. We just have <laughs> under two hours, about an hour and 15 minutes to get on everything. Bradley and I just walked into a wheel, well, we thought it was a women's restroom, but then some more guys went in, so it's pretty unthemed parking lot type coaster. This restroom is completely sealed. <laughs> completely sealed up. <laughs> They're like fake doorknobs. But it says it's a restroom right there.